Well, since Sparks went out of his way to interrupt us last time to tell us that you can climb ladders, I guess we might as well climb that ladder and... Hey, where the heck's Farmer Joe or Bill or Brown or whoever that pig was? <laughs> it's funny, because he's literally a pig. Hello, friends! This is Seth of the Cygnus LPs, and welcome back to another episode of Spyro Enter the Dragonfly, where we will be entering a flying saucer, apparently, because the pig just kind of disappeared. I guess he's already waiting in the flying saucer, because, you know, this is totally going to bring us somewhere. And, whoa, what the heck? The lights! They're dimming! Okay. And we're floating on a flying saucer. I did not expect this to actually work. Howdy, Spyro! Space Rip Talks have arrived from nowhere and have overrun the farm looking for dragonflies. Since they haven't been able to find any, they've been abducting cows and locking them inside the big barn. <laughs> and I'm afraid I'm next. <laughs> well, uh, at least at least they're space rip talks now and not space cows. Seriously, what was that pig smoking? Anywho, yeah. So apparently we got to save this guy's cows from Don't space worry, rip I'll talks. Help you. Yeah, we will help. You will. Totally. Golly, thanks. You just need to go around back and unlock the big red barn and rescue them cows. Yep, them cows are as good as rescued. Hey, at least they're not from space. I, I was kind of getting creeped out by the space cow idea, but apparently that's not actually a thing, so it's all good. Anywho, yeah, so in the last episode, Sparks was annoying, basically, and in this episode, we are starting the UFO zone place. I actually forget what the official name for this place is. But, yeah, it's something about a UFO. This is an interesting level. Every time I think of this game, even when I went and bought the game, this was the first thing I was thinking of, was this level. It's just the most memorable level of this game, in my opinion. Anywho, so we have space cows here, because, you know, these totally look like cows. Yep, Farmer Bill or whatever was totally not lying about that one. Yeah, and we've got a ton of gems now. I should probably stop running around collecting gems, but they're so shiny. How could you ever stop? Might as well go check out one of these things and let Sparks do his whole... Hey, look at this. It's a new thing that you haven't seen before. Alright, so apparently it gives you a headache if you try to burn them or something. Nah, it's because you have to charge them to break them, so that's why they can allegedly give you a headache. They also tend to give you more monies in these useless jars here. It for some reason, I can never kill these jars in any efficient manner. Kill jars, yeah, you kill jars. And what's back here? It's the big red barn, but there's no way in. Clearly, I wouldn't be able to burn down the wood with my fire breath. Nope, that would make a bit too much sense for... Ow, a game with space cows. Jeez. Anywho, so I guess we're just going to continue on in our search for dragonflies. Are there any dragonflies here? Are there any dragonflies here? There are probably some dragonflies here. There's this guy here. I'm gonna kill this guy because he has a gun, and his gun is making me afraid of him. Jeez, the, the, even, you can't escape terrorism, even in a poor little kid's game. Anywho, so, oh, this, wow, that was, that was hey, easier than expected, I swear. In my practice run, for some reason, I was chasing that one dragonfly for like 15 minutes, I'm not even joking. And when I started not getting him in one hit, like I've been getting them all in the last few episodes, then I started getting worried that this guy was just overall going to be a prick again. But he's not going to be a prick, he's going to be a dragonfly. There's only not very much of a difference in shape. Haha, <laughs> anyways. Let's head over here. You know what, those pots are so useful. <gasps> chicken! What happens if I burn a chicken? Do I get to eat cooked chicken? No, well, there is a cooked chicken there. I wish I could eat it, but of course not. Nah, I, I guess we're just gonna have to settle with that little butterfly that comes out of its stomach. So yeah, those are the animals of this area that you can farm for butterflies. The butterflies are made of butter. That was totally not useful to say because they are most certainly not. Anywho, so it looks like there are vines on that wall. I don't know why I feel like I should go climb on them because video game logic is that vines must be climbed. It always pisses me off in a video game where you see climbing vines that don't actually lead anywhere. Stereotypically Legend of Zelda, where every so often you'll have that one vine that doesn't lead anywhere. It's like, dude, why doesn't this vine go anywhere? There should totally be a secret passage. This game is so unfinished. 
Yeah, that's a, that's a complaint a lot of people have about this game, by the way, is that it's unfinished. And I actually think that may be true, judging by all the glitches, to be perfectly honest. And the fact that there aren't many instances of certain things happening, such as, um, <laughs> money bags. Hey, you're Spyro, ain't you? Glad to meet you. Have you seen any of my cows? Uh, apparently someone else did, and they're in the big red barn, which I cannot burn down with my fire breath. Could you please stop using fireproof wood? It would be very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, okay, so... Apparently we gotta go look- Oh, there's your cow! Look, it's a space cow! <laughs> hurry, hurry, I'm gonna kill you, because you're, you're obese and stuff, and you're a space cow. Because that's totally what a space cow is, right? Oh, another dragonfly, I'm gonna go get you before I do anything- Whoa! Is it just me, or did that dragonfly glitch out, or, like, it's almost like a lag thing, except it was in the air for some- This dragonfly seems very high in the air for some reason, I don't know why. Yeah, he's very high. He took a bit too much illegal substances, obviously. Anywho, chicken. I don't know. I don't know what to think of these chickens. They just I, I just want to kill them all for some reason You know when you just see this thing and it just looks so killable. Um, what? No, that, that doesn't happen to me at all no, I'm, I'm just I'm just kidding. Yeah Anywho, so this guy's cows are clearly not around. So let's go do something else. Um, I Don't believe you can go over here like this. Can you can you? Uh, almost. So close, but no cigar. If there was a cigar, I'd probably be able to light it with my fire breath, and, you know, it'd be pretty amazing. But, of course not. And, hey, Bales, I hate you because you're hard to jump on. Not really, but I'm having a ton of trouble jumping on you for some reason. I actually don't want to ram into that, but... Yeah, uh, yeah, I did anyways. Shows what you I know about not wanting to do things. So now, yes, once you hit, you see a lot of these lightning rods in this level, they'll often summon UFOs, you know? So that's pretty amazing. You can actually go over there if you want a ton of gems. And I'm gonna do it, just because I'm such a gem hoarder. I'd like to hoard the gems. Look at all those gems, jeez. Then you can just fly over here. All fun and games until someone gets hurt. And by that, I mean no one's gonna get hurt except the dragonfly down here. There's no dragonfly down here, is there? Nope, but there is a dragonfly up here. One of the better hidden dragonflies so far in the game, I must say. It's kind of easy to miss if you don't know where to look, but there is indeed a ladder here, and there's a dragonfly symbol. At least what he makes up for in being good at hiding, he doesn't make up for in being good at running away. Apparently he doesn't realize he can fly. I don't know, apparently all these dragonflies don't realize they can fly. They just sort of sit there, and it's like, yeah, well, you can catch me. If, well, not so much they sit there in most cases, but they just stop trying to kill space cows with bubbles. Cows are not weak to bubbles, unless it's some Pokemon. I, I can't think of any Pokemon cow that's weak to bubbles, even since the only Pokemon cow I can think of in the first place is friggin' Miltank. Yeah, Miltank. Because, you know, Miltank is now in space and in a spiral game for some reason. That's what's going on here. And we're gonna continue on because there are no dragonflies here, and that makes me incredibly sad. Die, evil space cow. I don't know. I'm really gonna keep calling these things space cows, aren't I? They're clearly space rip talks, as the one sensible farmer said. But hey. Anywho, there's something up here, and what the heck? Yeah, I may have forgot to mention you can ground pound if you press Y. I was kind of hoping to, like, flutter up. But, you know, fluttering apparently doesn't work unless you're anywhere else in the community. Now, let's just do this, and UFO, please. I really do not want to get shot in the face by that space rip talk, because my sparks is blue. I don't know, maybe someone thought he was a bed bug and beat him black and blue with a shoe. What? I, I don't even know if that reference makes sense to anyone and not just me. But let's just break some more pots, because apparently we came here for no reason other than to get pots. This is beautiful. And we got- Whoa! What the heck? There are actual space cows? What? 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 I do not approve of this. This is... I must be dreaming or something. I, I never actually started recording, did I? I'm just dreaming. Nope, there are apparently actual space cows. Okay, sorry for doubting you, farmer. Your name is slightly more credible, so I won't call you Brown anymore. Even though I was doing a good job of calling him Bill for the past little while. Anywho, so I guess that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, let's... Let's just try try to stay calm. There, there, there's actually a space cow conspiracy. I am slightly amazed. War of the Riptox versus the space cows. Who shall win? Obviously the purple dragon with epic breath. Haha. -ha. Alright, so now in the next episode we will continue crashing this epic war of the races and beating them both because they both suck. And yes, I hope to see you guys then.